Okay, so what I have is 1 divided by 32 equals 2 raised to the x plus 1 power. And what I want to do for this problem is um, somehow see if I can get the powers to be exactly the same so then I can evaluate and set the exponents equal to each other to evaluate. And we'll just go through the, you know, the basic rule that I have is let's say I said 3 to the x equals 3 squared. Well, obviously, if you're saying what does x have to be, you know that x has to equal 2. So therefore, the bases really don't matter. Um, as long as they're equal to each other. So here, I have a base of 2, but then I see, all right, if, if I want to follow that rule, I need to see how can I rewrite 1 over 32 as a base of 2. So there's a couple things I want you to understand. First of all, 2 to the negative first power equals 1 over 2 to the first power. All right? So that's a very important thing because I notice that if I have a negative power, so if I had 1 over 2, I could rewrite that as, sorry, as 2 to the negative first power. All right? So now what we want to see is all I need to do is I need to get 1 over 32. So I know that's going to be 2 to some negative power, but I need to see, you know, 2 raised to what power is going to give me 32. So let's just kind of go down the list. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. 2 to the fourth is equal to 16 and 2 to the fifth equals 32. But notice 2 to the fifth equals 32, so if I did 2 to the negative fifth, that's going to equal 1 over 32. So now I can rewrite this as 2 to the negative fifth equals 2 to the x plus 1. And just like my example over here, when I have the bases are exactly the same and I have an exponent equal to another exponent, we now know that my exponents are going to be equal. So therefore, I can now say negative 5 equals x plus 1. So to solve for x, I subtract 1 on both sides, and I get negative 6 equals x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve when you have a rational base for your exponent. Thanks.